1979, I worked with Jack McDuff. And not for long, but for four or five months. And we used to come out here and play in the Key Club. I mean, it's not there anymore, but Charlie Parker played there. It was a scene of primarily organ jazz, and it also was in these entirely black clubs here in Newark. And we'd be crowded onto this little island with a quartet and the PA system, and it was fantastic. There was a big music tradition, and then across the street was Sparky Jays. I remember we were playing at the Key Club, and Charles Erland, who also died recently, uh, was playing at Sparky Jays, and Jimmy McGriff would play there, and Houston Person and Etta Jones also played those clubs, and it was called, by musicians anyways, it was called the Chitlin Circuit. But this was a circuit of jazz that went all over the United States through black communities. It was like mostly, most of the fans were working class uh, black people who were really jazz fans and really could tell the difference between when it was happening and wasn't. It was the only audience that I've ever played for in my life that, aw that applauded for restraint. I mean, most, you know, most white audiences seem to think, seem, seem to mistake the guitar for a trumpet, and they think it's really something that's fantastic if you play a really high note on guitar, as if it's any more difficult than playing a, no a low note. <laughs> but the audiences in those clubs really were hip.